Hello, welcome back to Statistics and Mathematics YouTube channel. Today we are going to start our studies on solving questions on normal distributions. So if you are new to this channel and you haven't watched the video on normal distribution, I will please advise you to go to my channel and then watch the normal distribution video before you start um, the MCQ questions on normal distributions. So my um, student at Biological Science 3, please, those of you who haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, like and share so that this video will get viral for your friends to also watch. Yeah. So let's start solving our question from question 39. So for question 39, uh, the first question is saying the normal distribution, the normal distribution is applied for. You see, normal, we have two forms of probability distributions. We have discrete probability distribution and continuous probability distribution. And we learned that the discrete probability distribution are less as follows. We have Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, uh, multinomial distribution, geometric distribution, negative uh, binomial distribution, and Poisson distribution. These are our discrete random variables. And the continuous random variables are uh, the uniform distribution, exponential distribution, gamma distribution, normal distribution. So here are... Um, our normal distribution is what continuous what distribution right and then question 40 is saying that the shape of the uh, normal curve is bell shape so this is the shape of what the normal curve right and it's look like the bell that we use to you use in our basic schools right so it's a bell shape so that's answer a and then for question 41 we are saying that the normal distribution is symmetric the normal distribution is symmetric is about what the mean because we have this bell shape and the symmetric has as at the center you're having a mean median and what mode so here this is what our mean right so we are having our mean to be that and then for question 42 we are saying that for a standard normal variance the value of the mean is right so for standard normal distribution if you see uh we have normal distribution with this pdf one divided by square root of 2 pi sigma squared times e raised to the power negative half x minus mu divided by sigma all squared right so you see that uh, we cannot use this one to calculate for the probability of the normal distribution so it's very huge right so we just want to go the standard normal distribution to calculate for the probability of the normal distribution for for, for the standard normal distribution we just assume the value for the mean to be what zero and the variance to be what one so here our value would be at zero. That's for question C. And then the area under the normal distribution curve is what? One. Right? So these are pretty pretty stuff that we learned um, on my videos on normal distribution. So if you haven't watched that video, can you make sure you watch it? Or you watch it for everything to be fine for you here. Because uh, even when you integrate a function, right, over eight limit, a to b over what eight limit is equal to one. So here the area under the standard normal distribution curve is what one and then question 44 right question 44 is saying that the standard normal curve is symmetric about the value of uh, zero right it's true because we are saying that when it is symmetric right our mode right our s bar our mode and then our median right s bar our mode and our median they are all equal and then at the st for standard normal distribution our mean is equal to what zero right so here we are going to get our answer to be d question 45 says for the standard normal varies the value of the standard deviation s right so we are saying that uh, norm uh, standard normal distribution follow sorry for the standard normal distribution you're having a, a mean of zero and a variance of one so if you're having a variance of one, if you take the square root of one, the variance, right, you are going to get SD. So square root of one is equal to one. So that is our answer is what? One. That's answer B. We are saying skewedness of a normal distribution is what? Zero. That's answer C. Skewedness of a normal distribution is zero. And then question 47 said for a normal distribution, it mean median and mode are all equal. That is true. Sorry, that is you see that is true right so we have this one here that is true so here that is a normal we say that the mean mode and the median they are all equal that's what true and then question 48 it says 
in a normal distribution the highest value of uh ordinate occurs at the mean the highest value of ordinate occurs at what the mean 49 this the shape of the normal curve depends on its standard deviation right the shape of the normal curve depends on, depend on it was standard deviation because when we have a bell shape like this at this point we are having here to be s bar so for it to move to the right or move to the left we have to for the right you have to add what you call our standard deviation to the left you have to subtract what we call our standard deviation so so for you to determine the curve of the normal distribution we use what we call the standard one deviation question 50 it says the value of a constant e appearing in normal distribution is the value of constant e appearing in normal distribution so the, here we are just having our e just want the, the value for e raised to the power one and the value for e raised to just point e and then just raise to the power one we are going to get an answer of what d right question 50 an answer of what d and then for question 51 51 it says in a standard normal distribution the value of the mode s right the value of the mode s this answer um is what zero because normal distribution the mean mode and the median are at equal so if the mean is zero for the standard normal the mean the median and the mode is also going to be equal so here is equal the same applies to question 52 so he said in a standard normal distribution the value of the median s that is what b that is b so question 54 so we are back on standard normal distribution so question 54 says if z is a standard normal variable what is the probability of um, z less than zero so here we have been given uh, our z our z is less than zero so you have been asked to calculate for the probability so here probability that our z is less than zero so here we have this zero here so we are just going straight to the normal distribution table and locate 0, 0.00 to get our value for that so we have a normal distribution table here so when we come to the normal distribution table we will locate 0, 0.0 here and then 0, 0.00 here and then you can see that the answer is what 0, 0.05 sorry 0. 0.500 of which when you come here the answer is what b so question 54 is b question 55 says what is the value of the standard deviation of the normal distribution so the value of the standard deviation of the normal distribution is what one we have done a lot of uh, similar examples on this one so i will not further explain this one too so for, for question 56 says when a raw score x is standardized to a z score what happened to the dis uh, what happened to the distribution so um, says a its shape changes to become non-normal no 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 this is false it mean changes from the original population mean to zero a standard deviation is no longer one that is false and it shift to the that is false so the correct answer is what b that's question 56 answer b so you see it's very 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 simple very 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 simple so uh, just take your time watch it and watch it again everything will be fine okay yes let me let me continue for you okay we have question 50 we are on question 57 right so here we have now z to be x bar minus mu sorry he said the weight of bags of rice are normally distributed rate mean which is equal to 50 kg and standard deviation which is equal to 5 kg what is the probability that a randomly chosen bag weight uh, is less than 55 right so here this is uh, application of standard normal distribution question right so uh, right now we know that our z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma so um, our our mu is given as 50 as you can see here our mu is given as 50 and our standard deviation is given as 50 uh, 5 5 so uh, we have been asked to calculate for the probability so here we are going to calculate for the probability that our z is less than what 55 right so here right now our x is equal to what 55 so we have our x we have our mu and then we have our that so the work is done yes the work is done so let me clean it so that um yes so that everything will be fine here. let me clean so i will get enough space to write uh what we are supposed to write yes 
Let me clean this. So for here, uh, z will be equal to um, z will be equal to our 55 minus 50 divided by 5, which will be given as 5 divided by 5, which is 1. So here, we, are, we have 5 of 1. So I'm going to calculate for the probability from the z table. So when we come here, uh, we have our 0 0.01 here, and we choose 0 0.001. So you are going to get 8, 0.843. 0.8413, yes, that's 0.8413, so this is our answer, that's answer A for question 57, um, and then we are at question number 58, they are saying that a male student height are normally distributed with mu which is equal to 175, a standard deviation of 8, and he said, what proportion of the male student are between 170 centimeters and 185 centimeters? So you see the proportion here is the same thing as our percentages. So don't confuse yourself. So once you see the proportion, the same thing as percentage, you are, you are using the normal distribution to solve that one, right? So here, we are going to have probability that our x is less than, sorry, probability that 170 is less than x, less than 185. So I'm going to have, get phi of 185 minus phi of 170. 170 right and then already we have our mu and our uh, standard deviation right yes we have our mu and standard deviation i think i've solved this question here so we have our mu and standard deviation which is given to us so we just substitute them inside here and we are going to get if you do it well we are going to get phi of 1.25 and phi of negative 0 0.165 go straight to the normal distribution when you go straight to the normal distribution to find for our um, probability, I want to get uh, for 1.25, I want to get 0 0.944, and here I want to get negative uh, 0 0.6284. So, of which our final answer will be 0 0.6284. 0, uh, right? So, this is our answer. This, this is what we are going to have for our answer that's what you are going to have for answer for question uh, 58 i'll leave the question 59 for you guys to go and then try your hands on that so please kindly try your hands on that and share your answer at the comment section below yes share your answer and i'm going to respond it for you quickly so for question um 61 said for standard normal district sorry for standard normal variable z find the probability that our z we find the probability that our z is less than 1.5 right so this one just go straight to the normal table we locate 1.5 and then 0 0.05 so 1.5 day here so this 1.5 and then 1 point, uh, 0, 0.0 here so here our answer will be 0 0.332 0 0.332 so that is our answer a 0 0.332 and then question 60 uh, 62 that's question 62 he said if our x follows a normal distribution the mean of 10 and then variance of 5 raised to the power 2 find the probability that our x is greater than 115 right so here uh, we are going to have probability that our x is greater than 115 is supposed to be equal to 1 minus probability that our x is less than uh, 115 so here will give us 1 minus 5 of 115 minus um, 100 because we are having uh, mean to be 100 divided by 15. You see, here is variance, so, so that's 50 raised to the power square, right? So, if you square root the variance, you are going to get what our standard deviation to be at 15, right? So, when you subtract everything for you, are going to get 1 minus 5 of 1. So, you are going to look for 5 of 1 from the table, right? And then 5 of 1 from the table um, is going to give us so, here is 5 of 1. We are going to get. 0 0.8413 0 0.8413 so here will give us 1 minus 0 0.8413 of which when you subtract we're going to get 0 0.1587 this is our final answer so um, these are the questions MCQ questions that uh, I have on a normal distribution for you guys so please kindly make sure you subscribe like and share so that this video will get around to for your friends to also watch so my student at um, social science department can you and biological science 
um, department please kindly make sure you subscribe okay so that uh, everything will be fine thank you for watching bye